disco nights, gifts for kids, uh, new beers, and a new pinball machine. Let's get right into it. What's up, everybody? It's Tim Owens. It is this week at Reclaim, and we've had an awesome week. I just got done yesterday DJing all night long for a Retro Rewind open house. This was an event that we did yesterday night where we dropped the emission price to a quarter. We just wanted to kind of push back on all the inflation and everything else, and over 160 people showed up. It was an absolute blast. We had a lot of fun. I really appreciate everybody coming out, seeing what we're doing here. It was just such an absolute blast. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff happening this week as well. Tonight, I've got our Pinstructions event. Pinstructions is something that I've been doing roughly monthly where I spend about 30 to 45 minutes, I pull a pinball machine over here, and it's kind of a structured session where I show you how to do something with pinball. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that love playing pinball, but don't really understand how to play it, how to put up good scores. Uh, maybe you're interested in playing in one of our tournaments, which would be awesome. So we have Pinstructions tonight. This one's gonna be all about nudging the game. And by nudging, I mean moving that thing back and forth. A lot of people think that it's illegal, that it's not, you're not supposed to do that, right? Shaking the game seems like it should be a bad thing, but it's not. It's actually something that professional players do really well and they use it to their advantage to keep the ball in play and not drain so quickly. So if you're interested in that, that's a seven o'clock tonight. This is Thursday uh, that this video is going out. Uh, it's actually Thursday today that I'm recording the video. So it is tonight at seven o'clock. And then on Friday, we've got DJ Tilt here with our disco night. It's a disco town. Uh, he's just playing a bunch of Motown, 70s, uh, 60s type music. It's gonna be fun. It's always a good time when he's here playing. So definitely plan for that. That goes from nine to midnight uh, on Friday. Uh, what else do we have going on? We've got some new beers. So I pulled this one out of the fridge. So we've had the Freak Sour Series. Are you into sours? I think they're kind of um, a polarizing thing, I guess I would say. There are people that love them and people that can't stand them. I, they've grown on me, to be honest. And this one in particular, I like a lot. So this is the new one from Mustang Sally, their Freak Series. And this is Peach and Tangerine. I think it's a really good one. Uh, and it's definitely, I think sours are the kind of beer for someone that's not so into the traditional beer flavors, the lagers, the IPAs, that kind of thing. And they want something maybe that's more fruit forward or something like that. Um, so yeah, give it a try next time you're here in the arcade. Food wise, our, this is the last week for our Cajun patty melt. So this is your last chance to get it. Uh, after Sunday, it's gone. And I'm not telling you what's coming up next, but I'm gonna tell you it's a fan favorite and it's returning. So uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But definitely, if you haven't gotten a chance to try the Cajun patty melt, make it make a point to come out here this week and give it a shot. It's, it's really, really good. Uh, I really enjoy that. Uh, another thing that I want to highlight here that we have started doing, it's into November now, we're getting into the holiday season, and we always like to try and give back during this season. Uh, it's a time of giving. I mean, Thanksgiving is right around the corner, uh, and then Christmas will be here, other holidays, you know, in December. And so we want to do our best to give back. We're partnering with a group called Gifts for Angels. Um, kind of like Toys for Tots, but this is local to the community. So uh, we're collecting toys. Uh, when you come in, if you bring in a toy, we're gonna drop 20% off your admission ticket. So please think about doing that next time you come. If you can bring a new and unopened toy and drop it in the box, we've got a drop off box right here at the front. Uh, and we'll, we'll give you a little discount for coming in, but more importantly, those gifts go directly to kids in need right here in Fredericksburg, which I think is really important. So definitely wanted to highlight that, gifts for angels, um, you know, and then, Let's see, we've got repair reports. Uh, I've got a lot of good ones. So on the pinball side, we didn't have a lot to repair. Few minor things, but honestly, we got to wax and clean a lot of games this week, which was a lot of fun. Uh, on the arcade side, this guy right behind me, Missile Command, back up and running. 
uh, as well as pole position. And I know pole position has been down for quite a while. Uh, we finally got that board repaired. So we got the board and missile command repaired, both of them working perfectly, ready to go. Uh, some people had asked about Qbert. Cuber, we got the board repaired. It's still not working. So we're actually, and it was working on the bench with our uh, repair person down in Richmond. And he said it may be a second board in the game. We're going to bring the entire game down to him and have him take a look at it. I think it's a probably a pretty easy fix, but not one that he can do remotely necessarily. So Cubert is close. Cubert is close, but not quite yet. But missile command, pole position, back up and running. And then we're just going to keep hitting on the other list. I'm going to start pulling some games out of storage and getting those fixed up as well. So very cool. Uh, the last piece of news, I mentioned it last week that it was your last week to play GNR. We say farewell to Guns N' Roses Pinball. Uh, it, it's a great game, don't get me wrong. It's been a lot of fun to have in the space, but it was time for a change up. And we have traded that out. We have Cactus Canyon in Reclaim Arcade now. Uh, if you've never played this game before, uh, this was an old style Bally Williams, I guess it was a Williams game, right? Um, that came out in the 90s, but this is a remake done by Chicago Gaming Company. It's a Wild Western theme. There's lots of stampedes. You're, you're fighting villains and cowboys and, you know, saving damsels in distress and all kinds of things. It's a hilarious pin. I would equate it a little bit like Attack from Mars if you enjoy that game. I think you'll really like Cactus Canyon. So check that out next time you're here. Uh, that is now on the floor. And that's all I got for this week at Reclaim. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, and I'll see you next week.